Hey, 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 ladies and gents, it's your also known as Brandon Planet, and we are back here with what should be the finale of the two-part series for Project Cat, Paper Lily Prologue. And uh, if you remember the first part of it, it was quite the lovely game. Um, RPG-style horror had a very, very nice, vague feel to it that really reminded me of Undertale. Makes me want to play Undertale. I will play Undertale eventually here. Um, but yeah, there's there's so much more, I think, to be able to get into this. I don't think it's going to be too much longer. I'd say we probably played about halfway through it, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm going to go ahead, though, and get right back into the game and hope for the best. If you guys do want to check out what is going on with part one of Project Cat Paper Lily Prologue, I will link it down in the description, and then it'll also be in the top right. Um, not only during the video, but on the end card as well. All right, we're gonna get into this and hope for the best. All right, so we're at the Hallway of Doors. It's, oh my lord, I just real... Hold W while moving to climb stairs. Okay. Small door with an odd pattern. It's locked. So you can go backwards. Door with an odd pattern. It's very locked. The door with an odd pattern. It's locked. Sensing a theme here. Door with an odd pattern. It's locked. Sensing a theme here once again. Door with a glossy finish. You can see yourself in it. It's locked. Was I not supposed to go backwards? I might not have been supposed to go backwards. Fairly normal looking door. It's locked. Okay, maybe I was supposed to go backwards. That's strange. Have I already passed through here? Oh, I have. Hmm. There must be something I missed. Small door with an odd pardon. It does not say that it's locked. Can I go into it? It does not give me the option to go into it. Okay. That is the only one that does not say that it's locked. Oh. They all don't say that they're locked now. It Did we just go PT on this? Like, is this hallway simulator now? All right, this is a lot longer. Ooh. Um, am I lost? I don't remember this hallway being that so long before. Oh, a key. There's a key hanging from a hook. Did key? Yes. Fairly normal looking key. Okay. Door with an odd pattern. Nope. Not that one. Um, glossy finish. You can see yourself in it. Not the pattern that we were looking for. I'm assuming this door right here. The fairly looking Fairly normal looking door. There we go. All right. Explore the strange place. Key fits. Before proceeding through the door, do you wish to save your progress? Yes. Hi, Sunny. Hi. You want to say hi to everyone? You want to say hi to everyone? Oh, my word. Ah. Uh. You need to say hi. Mm -hmm. This is Sunny. This is Sunny. If you're lucky enough to be able to see her on video, it's very rare. But uh, you'll see her live on streams if you guys do want to see that. And then there's obviously the emotes with her. All right. Go. 
That's my sonny. Alright, so yes, we will save... Huh? What's this? Am I back at the school already? Uh, paper slip with some rules and regulations. No running in the hallways. No screaming during recess. No escaping. Ever. Yeah, that's how I felt. Classroom 4A. Classroom 56W. Excuse me? Yeah. Let's have some fun, shall we? Entertain me for a while. And in return, you get... No. Nothing at all. Huh? Who's talking? Oh! Oh! Well, hello, good... Damn it. Oh, so me... Yeah. I, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Do you even know where you are? You chose a one-way trip to hell, kid. Where are you? Well, if you're not gonna help, then be quiet. I'll leave once I find what I came for. So she's probably looking for, like, what, a dad or a mom or a friend or something like that that she lost. That's what I would assume. Oh. Holy letters. Unsealed golden letters scattered across the floor. They seem to be rituals with various titles. The mirror ritual. The ritual of the well. The bus ritual. The three-room ritual. We, we're, we're familiar with that one. This is the one that I did. These all come in golden letters. Do they all work? I should look into this when I get home. You think you can leave? Now that you approve, now that you can prove these rituals work, you have no way of going back to tell anyone. The knowledge will die with you. That's that's a lie, right? You're just trying to scare me. I'm like waiting for like some evil thing to be. Are you lost? Uh-oh. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, now we've entered the PT portion of the night. Just in a very much different graphical style. You should give up. You will never leave this place. Oh. Oh. My. God. The figures stare at you from the other side of the windows. Oh. My. God. So is this like a, a take on like how children feel in school when they're alone? They feel like everyone's just kind of like the shadowy figure staring at them. You know, I mean, there's, I, I think every kid goes through that process. I mean, I, I know I did. I, I'm pretty sure everyone goes through that process. One time or another, oh my god, this is, oof. I don't want to go into that dark area, not with all those things staring at me. <sighs> Your mother will be devastated to learn that she's now completely alone. No husband, no daughter. Everybody left her. How pitiful. So, you're searching for your father. Like, you're searching for a way to be able to bring your father back, which... As a dad with a daughter, that, that kind of gets me. That kind of gets to me. A little bit. Ugh. How, how dare you say something like that? You know nothing about me. That's right, you tell him, Cat. You're gonna find your dad. Oh, this is rough. You couldn't tell your father goodbye back then. 
And now, you won't tell your mother goodbye either. Yeah, same response that I had to that. What if I told you that someone you know is in here with you? Would that make you hopeful? Relieved? So, Dad? I know you're thinking you can escape with them. But these rituals have no way back. They were never designed that way. After all, why would you give your prey an escape? Dude, the way that... Oh, dude. Like, once again, it's the... The figures are bunched up against the glass. Alright, so they're, they're like... They're, they're being more... Um, can I just not move? We're going to take a little break, see here. That's a whole hell of a lot of mysterious red-eyed shadow people. And the glass decided to go crink, crink, crink on me. I'm going to take a drink here. Because I know something is going to happen going forward here. I know they gave me the ability to run for a reason. And I'm really, really... Uh, okay. Cat, I know more about you than you think. Let me show you something. Huh? This is... Wait. A painting of a vague memory. The bookshelf is always tilt too large for comfort. A pile of books. The top wall is called Depictions of the Psychological Trauma in Research Patients. Books on out-of-body experiences. The bookshelf towers over your small figure. A familiar desk. A pile of science books. Just what is this place? On physiological changes in humans in specific environments. There's also a notebook filled with rough scribbles and notes. So, what do you think? I can see everything that's in your head. Don't answer him, Cat. You really shouldn't make an effort to be more lively. You only have until I decide that I'm done playing around with you, you know? And then... I don't like the fact that the floor continues to change colors and stuff like that. It's... Oh, whoa! No, 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 no. Oh, that's... That's so not okay. Uh... Slam up against that glass, aren't they? Oh, it didn't talk to me in between. That's not good. 
That's not good. It didn't talk to me in between the brooms. Why does this look like a padded room? That actually legitimately made me just kind of, like, goosebumps all over the place. How would you like to stay trapped in here? Until you die. There's gotta be a way out, right? Maybe now you will reflect on the stupidity of your actions. No. We're strong. We're going to find Dad. In the meantime, I'll just watch you rot away. Well, that means you're not done with me, dude. Shut up. That's enough. Whoever you are, get out of my head my life is my business my decisions are mine alone let me out of this place i know there's a way out there has to be please i want to go home that's more like it so he didn't like the fact that she was being the strong character. She didn't fight back, but at the end it was the, please. I don't, I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I have a feeling this is going to come back to bite me in the butt. Like quite literally. Oh, it's a door. It's the mirror door. I'm back in this hallway. I don't like this. I need to get out of here. Objective updated. Escaped this cursed place. This isn't fun anymore. I need to find a way back. All right, see what I got on me. I got the ritual notes, the lighter. I don't smoke, but I enjoy watching things burn. Oh, dear Lord, cat. Piece of chalk, ritual notes, a uh, pair of scissors, Wait. not pointy enough to stab people with, rune, and then a key to open the theater room club. I, I feel like I'm missing so much here. Alright, so we were going backwards before. Let's go backwards again, shall we? Oh, that door is no longer there. Small door with an odd pattern. Uh, 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 I don't trust that. I do not trust that. A door with an odd pattern. Let's try every other door other than that one with an odd pattern. Glossy finish, I just came out of that. Oh, not any other choice. It's gonna force me to be able to go in the creepy door. That is creepy. This door is open. Wasn't it boarded up? Everything else is locked. I have no other choice but to go in. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh, that is so creepy. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Wait, it's the... A beheaded corpse. That can't be. How is this possible? I just saw her a while ago. 
I don't understand. Wait a second, did I cut off her head and not cut off her hair? No, because this is the other girls too. A bloody corpse. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. This can't be real. It's not real. Right? A bloody corpse. The lower half is missing. I... This is my fault. Either the lower half is going to come after me, or I am... Like, legitimately a killer. Or... I, I have nothing. I have nothing. Like, honestly, I think that either I'm a killer without realizing it. Or I'm going to get chased. Like, I'm going to get chased at some point. Like, you, you have a run ability. You have to get chased at some point, right? A welcoming door. It's locked. I have to get out. The door. I can leave. I can leave? I can go home? Why well, I have a feeling she's sitting there legitimately in like pools of blood from her friends or the people that are in her school, I should say, the other kids, because she actually killed them. I don't want to die. What? No! 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 Do not leave us on that! Oh, to everyone who made a video or stream, to everyone who completed a survey, to everyone who left a comment. Oh, come on! True end. K1. Curiosity killed the cat. There are more endings to this. So Cat could survive. Open the devs. We really appreciate you taking the time to play our little game. It means the world to us. What you have played is the prologue of Paper Lily, a larger project we are currently working on. We got amazing feedback from Project Cat so far, and we hope you look forward to Chapter 1 coming soon. Yes, very much so. Please, like, Debs, if you are, if you somehow watch this, please let me know when it comes out. I definitely do want to play this. Um, if you liked what you played, it would help us if you could leave a review. Thank you so much. This is honestly one of the most, like, amazing little experiences that I've had with a game of the indie variety in a long, long time. I love a lot of indie games, as you can see from the channel. But at the same time, this one gave me those huge, huge Undertale vibes. And I love that. I really, really love that. Once again, devs, if for some odd reason you would end up watching this, please let me know. My, my email is right down there. Make sure to be able to email me. Let me know when this comes out. I will definitely, definitely give it a playthrough. I love this. I, I, I so, so love this. Like, honestly, just, ah, oh, chef's kisses on that, man. Seriously, just amazing. Um, so I do know that there are multiple other endings, but this is just a prologue, um, as well. So I'm assuming that this prologue will still be out. They will have chapter one. They will have the other chapters of a full game that they're eventually working on. Do love the idea. Do love everything that's coming from this. And honestly, I... Yes. If you want to try out Project Cat Paper Lily Prologue yourself, I will leave a link to both the Itch.io and the Steam page down below. Um, please go over there, try it out. Let them know how much you liked it. 
Um, leave reviews for them, leave comments for them, leave everything that you, you think might be able to help them out. Make this a real project, like make, make this a reality because I'm assuming the project is real. But at the same time, let's make this a reality. Let's give them their dream and let me play this because oh, that was so good. That was so, so good. Oh, I love that. I love that. All right. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to drop us up on the channel, ring that notification bell and smash that like button. If you'd like to see me when I'm live over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash random plan. As always, guys, during these tough times, please remember you, your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Please stay safe out there and we will see you guys again in the next spooky video. This was fantastic. Devs. Bravo. Bravo. Looking forward to the future of this. Bye-bye for now.